Hello and welcome to my channel. I have made this 1 to 12 microwave that I designed in Fusion 360 and 3D printed it, printed it, it on my um, Flash Force Creator 3 Pro 3D filament printer. That's a long one. Um, and uh, it's a three part print as you saw here. The um, little microwave for itself, the door for itself, and then the little glass plate. I 3D printed the glass, glass plate in some uh, clear filament. And here I am just painting in some details with a tiny bit of black um, paint. Then I cut out a piece of this clear plastic from some uh, toy packaging I had lying around and I am gluing this little piece onto the inside of the door for the microwave. And I'm going to let that dry. Then I am going to take an eye pin that fits perfect in the little holes here and I am cutting that off in the right length so it's are kind of disappearing in the little microwave here, placing it and then just sliding it through the holes. If it's not sitting right in there, you can always give it a tiny bit of glue. I made this little print here to um, place on the microwave to look as the little display light. And I printed this on water decay or paper. And I'm just going to use the water to slide it off the paper and onto the microwave. If you don't have this water decal paper, you can use a normal print paper, cut the little picture out and then just glue it onto the little microwave. You can find the link for the print sheet in the info box below. Then I have these small electrical mail plugs here um, and I put them on a tiny bit of an electric wire and in the final uh, 3D print I will have the whole uh, pre-printed or in the print so you don't have to make it yourself. I have forgotten that in this one so I just drilled the little hole and plugged in the wire and that is the little microwave all done. And now for the fun part, we are going to make a microwave dinner for the microwave. And I had this uh, cutter here that fits perfect on the plate. So I'm going to make a plate for this microwave dinner. And you can see how I do it here. Um, I'm just gonna be quiet and let you look at this yourself. So see you in a minute. I cleaned up this little tray as good as I could so that you couldn't see the connection here and there and so that it is more squarish. Um, and I used quite a lot of time with this, uh, but I will spare you the rest of it. After it has baken and cooled down, I am sanding it so it really looks nice on the outside. It's hard to sand it on the inside. 
but I'm trying to get it really nice. Then I am molding some mold putty together or kneading it together. I'm kneading it. I'm kneading it together and then I am taking a tiny bit of it and I'm squeezing it into the small holes there is on this uh, microwave dinner tray. And when I'm sure the holes are filled, then I'm using the rest of the blob to make the rest of the mold. After around half an hour, you have a hardened mold and you can take out the original of the mold. And now you can make as many as you want in this mold. Now I am going to make some carrots and some peas for one of these smaller holes here. So I'm just taking some orange clay and I'm cutting it out. Uh, until I have a shape that I like and a thickness that I like for this. And then I'm just going to cut off small pieces to look like small pieces of carrots. I have a piece of res clay from last week's video. And this is just some normal green and some light green mixed together one to one. And I'm cutting out small tiny pieces that I'm rolling into piece. So make a lot of these. I use a tiny bit of female liquid in the room here where I want my piece and my carrot pieces. And I'm just carefully placing them in there where I want them so I have uh, a little of both. I'm mixing some opaque white with a tiny tiny bit of yellow and I'm actually cutting it up here like you see. Then I'm adding a tiny bit of female liquid and some different white and light yellows, um, soft pastels and I'm mixing this into a um, paste of a kind. I am putting this mixture into a small bag and I am going to cut the little corner of it and squeeze it from the bag into the other little tray here on my um, microwave dinner. This is going to be some mashed potatoes, just cleaning that up, cutting the little hole and then squeezing everything down to the corner where I have the hole just like that and then squeezing it into the small hole here for the mashed potatoes. Then I have this little ball of bread colored clay, dough colored clay and I'm just going to cut out some small pieces for some chicken uh, breast pieces thingy and when I'm ready I'm going to bake everything. I'm using my caramel dessert topping master for some sauce in this bigger room, then taking pieces of the chicken and placing into the sauce, just like I want them to be lying in there. And then it's just a waiting game for the sauce to harden. That is all there is for today. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.